I remember one day I was in the masjid. Wallahi, may Allah forgive me. And I went into the saf and the brother next to me had a strong smell of two things that came out. One was cigarettes that I picked up myself. It was too strong. It was like perhaps chain, maybe it's so many boxes a day, whatever it might have been. Or maybe he works at the store. Uh, in fact, let's think positive. Okay, maybe he works at the store where, they, where they, it's a smoking lounge. Allah forgive. But secondly, I later got to know that that's the smell of weed. Allahu Akbar. It was this, we call it a clunk. You know, it, it was a smell. It was so foul. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Sorry, you know what I'm saying. It was so foul. And I'm thinking, what should I do? I'm saying Allahu Akbar. I broke my salah and I walked off and I went away. I read, read the other side of the stuff. I felt so bad. Later on, later on, some time later, when I started talking and I started addressing people and so on, I actually went back to this brother and said, my man, do you remember the day I went he said, Wallahi, it was the best thing you could have done because after that I quit smoking. I'm going to apologize to him to say, I felt bad that you know what? Actually, I had to walk away. I couldn't stand the smoke. You know what he told me? You're not the first guy who did it. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. So I'm busy thinking to myself that as much as we say we have to interact with the people next to us in a beautiful way, as much as we say we have to interact with them, ask yourself, am I in a position that those around me would actually actually be pleased to interact with a guy like me imagine i come to the masjid i'm smelling if the hadith says onions is a problem garlic is a problem and that's some top food my man that is some top food if that is a problem and the hadith says you've had that go and wash your mouth you know why you're gonna harm the angels before the breast of the people you come into the masjid wash your mouth clean yourself you know i tell people use underarm i'm a human being you have a shower and you don't use underarm and you're a person who sweats Wallahi, you're going to create a disaster in the masjid in the house of Allah. Because you're going to come and you know what? People might not want to stand next to you. They can't wait for the salah to be over. That's the hadith speaking about onions and, and garlic. And I'm telling you that it also goes beyond that to perspiration. Imagine we're talking about it from the house of Allah. The reason is we need to gather. We need to get together. We need to love each other. Give people reason to love you, not to hate you. Then if they want to hate you, it's okay. It's better for you. It's not bad. But if you were the reason then come, let's address the matter. Let's address them. Because sometimes we are the problem. I'm the problem sometimes. May Allah Almighty grant us ease and goodness.